Hi, this is Sarah at Bangard Inc. And in this video, I'm going to be going through some basic navigation within Sage Intact. So here's your login screen. And if you are logging in for the very first time, you will do that using credentials that were sent to you in an email from Sage Intact. That's going to look just like this bad boy here. I'd recommend that you pin that so that you can find the information easily. They'll have sent you a temporary password, a company ID and a user ID. You can log in straight from that link that they sent you in the email and that brings you to this login page. So when you log in for the very first time, you'll have to use your temporary password. And then once you've logged in, you'll need to update your password. I do not need to do that because I have logged in previously. But if you are logging in for the first time, you will have to do that. So here's what it looks like when you log in. And this is a bit like, whoa, what's going on here? So intact product updates basically is just because Sage Intact does a quarterly release in which they have updates that they automatically install on your software. So it's not like you have to manually download the new updates and then put them into your system. It's all just happening in the background. But here you can read the release notes to see what changes they've made. And you can also look at the release calendar to see when the next ones are coming out. So they just recently did one and then the next one is in May. And then they have help and support here, learning here in tech community and member masterclass. This is just benefits that you get because you're a Sage customer. You always have access to this help and support button up here in the top right hand corner. So no matter what application or page you're on within the system, you can access help and support from here and you can click help on this page. And that is specific to the page that you're on, or you can click into the help center and you can do a search for whatever it is that you're looking for. So your username is here. And from there, you can click into your preferences and you can edit them how you like. You can make changes to your info here, to your timeouts, due to inactivity, your email notifications for approvals and confirmations. You can personalize the start page. So when I clicked in, it was obviously all that info about Sage releases. You can change this so that it goes to cash management when you first log in, whatever makes most sense to you. You can also personalize your applications menu here. So that is this menu, which is all of your applications within the system. And you can organize that just by clicking here and dragging them around so that they're in the order that you want. You can update your list screens here. And for records per page and rows per page, I would recommend maxing out on both of those just because if there's pages and pages of information, it's just kind of annoying to get through. And you can update your check preferences here. So check settings are set at the company level, but if you are using a printer that nobody else uses, it's specific to you or your work from home or whatever it may be, the settings might be a little bit off for you and you can just update those to suit the printer you're using here. In your general preferences, you can update your time zone, language, time format, date format. Um, so I like to use this one here that's with the dots. It's just easier for when you're typing. You can also update a profile picture for your collaborate. I mean, I don't really know why you would, but you can if you'd like to. And I know I'm going through this pretty quickly and skipping some of it. So if you wanted to look at everything here, you can go to help and support up on this page and it will go through each section. So your applications menu then. This might look very different for you than it does for me <clears throat> because depending on your configurations or your permissions you might have a lot less or maybe you have more applications than I do. I also actually have changed the terminology here. So this is the projects application and in company setup and terminology I have actually gone into that project, edited it and changed it so that it says jobs just because that makes more sense to me. So that's another thing you can do if it's something that that you'd prefer is in terminology, you can click into ter these terms. These are the only ones that you can change and you can edit the name on them. They've already done that for tasks. So a task in Sage Intact has been renamed as cost code for construction and then labor class shift and union. They're all renamed specifically for construction as well. So 
Within your applications, then each application has an all tab. Some of them have a setup tab and only company has an administration tab. So like accounts receivable has all and they have setup. So you can do setup on pretty much everything from your company application, but then you can also do some setup within each specific application as well. So within your applications, then you have the ability to favorite the ones that you use the most. Um, so if I click on ones that are not favorited here, I can see that this little star pops up here. And if I click on it, it goes yellow and then it adds it to my favorites. Favorites are over here. And if I click on all, it shows me everything that I have favorited within every application or I can drop down and I can go just specifically into accounts payable and I favorited bills and vendors and I can click on them from there. So here is another way that you can access your applications. If you're more of a visual person, you can click on your applications here and it brings up your little icons. This is more limited than this drop down. So just so you know, and it is the same thing as if you go into the overview from here. So it's just to bring up your little icons. Some people prefer that, some people don't. So when you're in the applications, if you see a plus, it means that you can add that just from here. So instead of going into jobs and looking at the whole list of jobs and then going to add from there, I can just hit jobs and then hit the little plus button and it brings me directly into the adding a job page. Um, and if you see that there's an add button here and you don't have it, it's probably because you don't have permission to add something. Another feature within Sage Intact is the ability to add dashboards. So they are specific to users. They can be created at the company level and then they can be accessible to everybody or you can just make them accessible for yourself. So I created one earlier today and it shows me my project overview report. It shows me my profit and loss report. Anywhere that you see blue here on these reports has the ability to drill down into it. So I can actually click on a project itself and I can go into the project. Or, I mean, I can if it doesn't take so long, but yeah, so that's a possibility. I can also click on this figure here to bring up my invoices for the for that project. I also have created this tab, which is just quick links to tasks that are within applications. So I have called this every day and I put in create bills, pay bills, create invoices, receive payment, timesheets, jobs, estimates, and reconciliation. I put this in, this is completely, you can just customize this to however you would like it to be. And these are just quick links, like I said, instead of having to go to my applications, accounts payable, all and bills, I can just from my dashboard click on this pay bills button and it brings me right to that screen. So I also have a record of my open invoices and a record of my open bills. I put in my profit and loss report and I also just threw in a calendar there because why not? But like I said, these are fully customizable. You can move them around however you want as well. You can add different component types. So depending on what it is that you want to see, you can put more reports in, you can put your collaboration feed in, charts, records, whatever it is that is specific to you. So that's dashboards, which is a very cool feature. And obviously there is quite a significant amount of information within each application, um, but I'm already fairly up there in the time. So stay tuned for more videos that I'm going to do on that. And as always, like and subscribe. Thanks.